Alison Pittinger, Director of Sales at Conductive Technologies, and she will share a contract, contract manufacturer's perspective on innovation today. Stage is yours. Hi, everyone. As said, my name is Alison Pittinger, and I am the Director of Sales for Conductive Technologies. Uh, so good afternoon and good evening, and thank you for those of you that have stayed. Um, it's quite late for some of you, so I, I certainly appreciate it. And thank you to Tech Blick and Christoph, as always. So what am I going to talk about today? Um, we've been talking about innovation, um, most people have, and I want to take it from a different perspective as a contract manufacturer. But first, uh, let me tell you a little bit about conductive technologies. So we are a contract manufacturer of printed electronics, and we're located in New York, Pennsylvania. One facility uh, that you see in the picture there, it's 110,000 square feet. We're privately held, and uh, the business was started in 1970. And we are um, ISO 1345 and 9001 certified, FDA registered, and compliant with current good manufacturing practices. Capabilities. So I'm going to start that top right um, picture is going to be a video. Uh, but capabilities, we are, our expertise is in screen printing. Um, so the video that you see there that's playing is a high speed sheet fed press. Um, currently, all of our uh, screen printing presses are sheet fed. Uh, just because we, we primarily started out in the 70s and, and had business in um, glucose test strips for a very long time. And then we had to diversify. But currently we are making electrochemical and biosensors, flex circuits, PTC heaters. Um, we also have legacy business and membrane switch to, to serve kind of the industrial markets. We are making uh, satellite, product, antennas, communications. So we are trying to diversify, even though we're heavily um, focused in the medical area, we, we do like to diversify and have a balance between medical and industrial. Um, so we just talked a little bit about curing and, and dryers. So we do have forced hot air, uh, UV, as well as infrared dryers. We, we have the ability to digital print. We don't do so much of that now, but we do have the ability. Um, sometimes screen printing, we don't get as fine of features that we would like for the customer and their end product. So we do have the ability to laser a blade. And what that involves is we bring in a sputtered material, um, primarily gold, but we can work with platinum as well. We then get a target of the pattern that we're trying to achieve on that sputtered material. And then we ablate away the material that we don't need. And then once we've we made the biosensor or the electrochemical sensor, we can take it either like one step further, or we can take it several steps further. And some of that includes um, dispensing of chemistry. So we can functionalize uh, the sensor if the customer has a requirement for us to do so. Then we can cut it into its final form factor. Um, it could be it could be a coupon, it could be singulated and placed in a vial. Uh, it could be several sensors per pouch. Uh, it really just depends on what the, the final product is packaged in and how it's sold to the end market, but we can do that. And then in some cases, um, we do plasma treat the substrates for better adhesion and for cleaning of the substrates. Uh, but again, it's really dependent upon the end product. And then we do have the ability to manufacture in high humidity, low humidity, and then we also have clean rooms. Something very important, especially for med device, is uh, your quality management system. And we are ISO 1345. Again, we are 9001, but 1345 is more important to um, the medical device industry. And then we are FDA registered. So we have a lot of experience taking a product from its concept or ideation phase all the way to commercialization and all the steps required um, from concept to commercialization as required to be compliant with the FDA, 
um, supporting 510K submissions or PMA submissions, depending on how the final device is classified. So that is something that we can certainly support and, and we have the